as we continue for comment on the current issues and to speak to our sisters and our brothers in leadership here, there, and everywhere, and to try to serve above the board, not involved in any uh, red, blue, white, yellow, orange conflict, but to advance the ideology and the belief that a nation and a people cannot exist and will not succeed for millennia if they're not organized, if they're not equipped, and if they're not um, have some kind of unity of purpose. Thus we say that these flags, this, this, this divide and conquer thing, that the British, the French, the Dutch, the Spanish have, have made us such good colonials that we don't even know whom we are. We don't know whom we are. And those people who promote tourism, those people who promote tourism, it didn't do anything for Jamaica. It didn't do anything for Antigua. It hasn't done anything for St. Lucia. It hasn't done anything for Barbados. All these places, the people are suffering. And instead of them moving up the economic ladder, the social economic ladder, instead of them getting from a working class to a middle class, there is no real middle class in these societies. The same holds true for so many of the so-called African nations, so blessed with so many minerals, with so much wealth, but yet lacking in leadership, lacking in morality. You see, it's a quality in people. It's a quality in people and a quality in a leader who knows that his role in this life is to be a nation builder, a people builder. He does not go and make himself separate from the people. Yes, he is separate, but yet he is still with the people. Okay, it's like the fingers on the hand. They work together, but yet they are all separate and yet equal. So these kind of leaders, like Fidel Castro, like Julius Nereri, these kind of leaders like Robert Mugabe, who took the land back from the settlers and gave it to his people and didn't care about the price that he had to pay. You see, uh, there's a reason why Mugabe didn't want to give up power, because he didn't want the British to come back and take over his country and to take over his land, his people's land. And the same struggle is going on in South Africa and in Namibia. I think in Mozambique too. I know what I If all you had any kind of methodology, all you would know that since slavery, since slavery, the people didn't get no land. They didn't make plan. And now all you come, and even to this day in the 21st century, you're telling the people they have to buy the land at $4 a square foot. That's how fool at you. Boy, let me tell you something, eh, boy? Mr. Austri. Mr. Austri, I don't understand all you know. 
The people work for nothing for the slave masters. And you can trace them. You can trace the families. You can get the dupinis. You can get the, 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 the witch church people. Mr. Erd. You can get them. You know who they are. Even in, in, in Portsmouth. You know, I think the, the, the guy, you know, the Douglas family, they, they owned a lot of land. And then there was the big estate that, <coughs> that Gis Industries owned. And Earl Rosen Company up there in Bath Estate. You all have never made provisions. And what is this concept of crown land? There is no such thing as crown land. Who the fuck is a crown? You got a crown? Who's the crown? Who's the king? Who's the queen? How did we come to have crown land? The land belongs to the people. This is like they talk over here. They want to talk about federal land. Federal land. How the fuck the federal come to have land? You know, the lands belong to the people, the citizens. Okay? So I'm saying you're talking about the housing revolution, right? And yes, people have a right. And people have a right to a good, comfortable standard of living. That's what we want. And we want people also to have the drive, the entrepreneurship, the drive. Too many places, the Negro is just a consumer. Even today on your own little island nation state, all you do is bring things in. All you do is import vehicles, uh, um, consumables. Nothing goes out. Containers come in, but they do not go out. And they sit around and they pollute the Isle of Beauty and the Isle of Splendor. You know what I'm saying? It's all pollution. How can you be the nature island if you're so polluted? You're polluted with everything